Hey there Tone Chasers, I'm Robert and welcome back to Tone Chase Basement. Today we've got something compact and powerful and it's been turning heads in the guitar community since its release at NAMM, the brand new Victory Deputy Amplifier. So let's plug in and find out why, but before we do that, please hit that subscribe button quickly. First off, let's talk what the Victory Deputy is all about. This amp comes from, of course, Victory Amplification, a company renowned for crafting high-quality boutique amps in the UK. And for a couple of years now, they're claiming their rightful place in the club of the top boutique amp builders like Friedman, Sir, Tone King or Magnetone. So what makes the Deputy stand out is its promise to deliver both vintage British tones with modern flexibility in a package that is both geek-friendly and studio ready. Also, it has been developed in collaboration with the one and only Danish Pete, who just has an amazing taste for a good tone, so it was fine-tuned to his liking. So, in the start, with that fact, it looks very promising. I'm not sure if it can be called a signature amp or not, but it definitely has his logo on the back of the amp as well. The problem in general with signature amps or pedals is that people often associate these products with only one characteristic sound of a specific artist, but with this amp it is definitely not the case because it's really very versatile. So right out of the box the deputy commands attention. Its design is a nod to classic aesthetics but with a modern twist. It's a minimalistic but very elegant design. The build quality is exceptional. From the Tolex to the control knobs everything feels premium. It's very compact and lightweight so your hands will not fall if you had to take it to your gig or move it around in the studio. So basically it's no secret that it's a Marshall JTM inspired amplifier, which is the original vintage Marshall sound, but not those distorted tones like the Plexi or the GCM sound, but more like those cleanish, fine, mellow, warm sounds, with just enough gain on top to enter those broken up sounds when the amp is pushed. <laughs> Let's dive into the specs. The Victory Deputy is a 25 watt amp with a very simple yet effective control layout. You've got your gain and master volume, a three way EQ, there is no presence control, but there is a bright switch to add some more brightness if you need to, and a special feature, a voice switch, which promises to take you from clean British vintage tones to more modern saturated tones with just a flick. And of course, there's a reverb of which we will talk a little bit later. It's a one channel amp, so this three way voice switch is not a channel switcher, but more like a gain stage switch. So when it's all the way up, it has the least gain, providing more clean headroom and cleanish tones. And of course, in the middle, it breaks up a little earlier, gives you more saturation. And then, of course, it has the most gain when set all the way down. What I also felt when playing it with these three different voicings is that with each higher gain stage somehow it adds more compression like sound and some more additional chiminess. So let's hear the difference between these three different gain stages with all the settings at noon. You could hear how it added more natural saturation without losing the core character of the tone. 
And this setting is perfect for fine tuning your bass tone and that bite right in the amp with high accuracy and precision. Of course, it's powered by three ECC83 or 12AX7 preamp valves, but the power tubes are interestingly not EL84s as you would suspect. Instead, they are EL86s, which is pretty unusual, but EL84s can be fitted in it just fine. The reason they went with the EL86s instead of the 84s is that when developing the amp, the tube supplier of Victory recommended those to them, and actually they liked it better to sound it better and work better with this amp. So if you would ever need to replace them, you can order replacement 86s from Victory directly, or you can just switch them to the good old 84s. <laughs> The master volume on the Deputy is just amazing. From bedroom levels to stage volumes, you can set your volume exactly to your needs. And what is most important with an amp like this is that the quality of the tone doesn't degrade at low levels. It still sounds like a cranked amp with rich harmonics and dynamics. You can connect it up to two 8 ohm cabinets or one 16 ohm cabinet or to your load box and IR loader. And of course, it can get pretty damn loud and even loud enough for a big stage. I use it with a 212 cabinet with, loaded with one V30 and a cream bag, and it roars with pure power. But let's get to the heart of it. How does it sound? Let's hook it up with a variety of guitars, and we're going to run through a variety of settings to showcase its range. From sparkling cleans to that coveted British crunch, the deputy doesn't just deliver, it excels. The voice switch is particularly impressive, offering a tangible shift in character that can inspire new playing directions. In the lowest gain setting, it almost sounds like a Fender Infinite Headroom-like amp. In the middle, it is the real JTM tones I always dreamt of, 
And in the highest gain setting, I couldn't believe my ears because it sounded like a dumbbell to me. And it just adapts with every kind of pickup surprisingly good. With single coils, it's shiny and dynamic. With P90s, it's present and creamy. And with humbuckers, it's like a gentle beat. But remember what I said in the beginning, that it's not about those GCM distorted tones. Well, actually, if you turn the gain all the way up in the highest gain setting and push it with a tube screamer or a clone, it can even metal. <laughs> Also, don't forget the built-in reverb in it. It's not an analog spring reverb like in many other amps. It's a digital reverb, but a very good one. Just listen to these amazing, huge and lush reverb sounds. It just sounds unreal and with this amp owning a reverb pedal just doesn't make any sense because this one will definitely sound better than anything you have. Yes, even better than a Strymon. And you get a foot switch for it as well, so it's like you have a reverb pedal already. Now also a very important factor for us tone chasers is how does it take pedals? Well, I'm just gonna say it, it's a freaking awesome pedal platform. It takes overdrives great, reacts to them individually and together with this amp's character in coherence they just sound like they are melted into the core tone of the amp. With many amps, you just don't have that feeling. Like when you turn on the pedals, they just sound too different, completely out of the picture of your basic clean tone. With this amp, you don't have that problem. As I said, they sound as part of the amp somehow. Listen to it. It takes high gain distortions or fuzzes without any issues. The headroom is high, so the distortion sounds will not be choked out or feel limited in any way. And just listen to it how you can hear the full defined sound of a red like pedal or a big muff, for example. <laughs> Modulations and delays with it are like the cream topping on the cake. You can either plug them into the input of the preamp and let the repeats be colored by the sweet preamp sound, or just connect them to the serial FX loop on the back. The FX loop doesn't color or add any kind of additional saturation or distortion to the FX sound, like it was the case with the old Sherry for example, and it's a very important factor, so a big thumbs up for that. Just listen to the difference between the delay into the input versus the FX loop, it's all about personal liking. Now, how does the deputy stack up against its competitors? Considering quality, performance and most of all sounds, it's definitely a win-win situation with this one. You just can't go wrong with it. Considering its price, the 20 watt Studio Marshall JTM is cheaper of course, but in my opinion you cannot mention these two amps on the same page. 
It's more like in the range of the Friedman Little Sister performance and Soundwise 2, but uh, in my opinion, it is still a bit more versatile and a bit more spankier and sparklier voiced than the Friedman, but in a good way. It is also way more affordable than a Tone King Royalist or a Magnetone, for example, but it doesn't lack anything in the build quality or sound compared to them. And in my opinion, what sets the Deputy apart for me is its ability to blend seamlessly into any setup. It is as much at home in a studio environment as it is in a live setting, thanks to its consistency in the sound at any volume. And it's not just about the sound, it's about the flexibility. So whether you play jazz, funk, blues, rock, or even metal, this amp has something to offer. Its headroom is insane and impressive for its size, and it can deliver crystal clear cleans at high volumes, and when it's time to rock, the overdrive is lush, dense, and you can infinitely shape it, thanks to its meticulously designed circuitry. So who is the Victory Deputy for? Well. It's for the player who values versatility without compromise, who needs an amp that can cover a wide sonic palette without losing its character, it's for the gigging musician who demands reliability and quality, and it's for the tone chaser who is always on the lookout for the perfect sound. And I have to add something very important in my opinion, and I think many of you can relate to this as well. During my whole gigging career, I always used something like an always-on kind of pedal, something like a blues breaker or a clean boost, just to push my main amp a little bit more into that tube warmness and edge of breakup kind of sound at a reasonable volume level. Well, with this amp, it is not needed at all anymore. And to be honest, playing through this amp felt a bit weird because I knew I didn't have any pedals on and I freaking enjoyed it. It was just exactly the sound I was chasing all those years with all those pedals, and I was not missing anything at all playing through this amp on its own. To sum up, the Victory Deputy isn't just another amp, it's a tool for expression. Whether you're gigging, recording, or just jamming at home, it offers a blend of classic through modern tones that can inspire music in any genre. This amp is a standout piece of gear, and it really deserves the attention it's been getting. It marries classic tones with modern functionality in a way that feels both innovative and familiar, but most of all using it is just intuitive. So whether you're just starting your tone journey or you're a seasoned pro, the Deputy is a perfect choice to look into. And with its superior build quality, it's just an investment that will stand the test of time. So that wraps up our deep dive into the Victory Deputy amplifier today. If you are serious about your tone and looking for an app that can deliver across the board, then the Deputy definitely deserves your attention. So don't forget to like, subscribe and ring that notification bell for more content and please leave your comments below on your thoughts on this amp or maybe just tell me whichever other amps you prefer. Until next time. And remember, the perfect tone is always just within reach. <laughs>